Hey guys, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick video this morning. <clears throat> and um, this video is entitled uh, Learning How to Niche It Down. Learning how to take a website and niche it down or take an idea and niche it down. So what I mean by that is this. Um, you have all types of niches when it comes to real estate investing. Uh, you have people that go after probates. You have people that go after uh, delinquent property taxes. People that go after code violations. And people that go after foreclosures. People that go after whatever it is. Whatever it is. Uh, people that go after lease options. And so you got everyone out there uh, that has the standard uh, We Buy Houses websites where you're targeting motivated sellers, which is what you're trying to look for, right? Uh, in, you know, six or seven or eight different niches. And so there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, however, <laughs> what you're going to get uh, is you're going to get a lot of people that are like tire kickers. In other words, you're going to get people that have pretty houses uh, that are fixed up and the deal just doesn't make sense. Okay. Uh, they want full on retail and they're not motivated to take terms. So it's just, you know, a lot of people that are going to call you that are, they want to sell but they're not motivated on price or terms. So it's a waste of time, oftentimes. So I would, this is what I would do. I, I've, I've had more success when I would niche a lead, niche my leads down, so my lead source down. So what I mean by that is this. So let's say, for instance, I developed a website and actually, I did develop a website. And I had a, uh, uh, I just recently let it go. I let it go maybe like three or four months ago. Um, it was, the, the domain name was inforeclosure.org. Inforeclosure.org. And basically, the website specifically, specifically focused on foreclosures. Why? Because I didn't want calls and contacts from everybody and their mother who was motivated to sell, but not motivated on price or terms, or they were just uh, looky loose or whatever that is. Um, I wanted people who were in foreclosure in my area uh, who wanted to sell. Actually, what I was going to do and what I may do in the future, I think I still will do this, but I was in the process of building a national foreclosure site. Um, I had some great keywords and I know with my skill set, I'm able to rank uh, I, there. I can outrank uh, um, Realtor.com on different keywords. As strong as that site is, um, if you niche it down you'll be able to beat a lot of monster websites out there when it comes to, but you have to learn, obviously, well, let me back up a little bit. Obviously, you got to learn SEO. All right. Took me a while to learn SEO. When I finally got good at it, I was like, whoa, uh, I can actually outrank websites that rank for a ton of different keywords with a ton of different things. I got really good at just getting niche specific. So what I mean by that is this. Let's say, for instance, you go after foreclosures in your area and your area is just really hot with foreclosures, just using foreclosures as an example. What you want to do is get some, imaged, some, some images, put those images along with, obviously, an article, uh, a blog article uh, with some images, as well as a video and you want to 
uh, get some backlinks going to that article. You also want to start interlinking to other articles that you write on that on that site or that blog. So what begins to happen is those articles that you're writing begins to rank really, really high and begins to outrank others on page one of Google. This is a secret. I'm going to tell you something because the majority of people and what you've been taught um, now in 2007 is somewhat incorrect. There's a lot of people writing blog articles and that, that type of thing. There's nothing wrong with that. But the majority of the people writing 500 to 700, 700 word blog articles, you don't want to do that. Um, you want to go up on your content per article. Start writing 2,500 words or more, or as opposed to start writing, um, outsource and have somebody write you articles that are 2,500 or 3,000 words or more or longer. 5,000 words or longer. Trust me. That tip alone will change the entire dynamic of most of your businesses. Start writing longer content. There are people and other websites out there that will start to link to your content, that will start to share your content. Most people... Many people don't know that. Everybody's still writing 500 to 700 words. Stop doing that. Write longer content. Get some bullet points in there. Maybe add an infographic. Um, some images. Uh, start building some social profiles. With Pinterest. Pinterest is great. Um, obviously, you got Google+. Plus, You got Facebook. You got your Twitter. Uh, Tumblr is great. LinkedIn is great and start backlinking to a lot of these sites. Start building up these profiles and start sharing your content with, um, with these social, within these social networks. And what will begin to happen guys is you will begin to sustain traffic. Like you would not believe I have a site right now in the land investing business that I haven't touched that site in months. And that site for specific keywords is still ranking like crazy. Like I'm still getting like three to five leads a day. Not three to five visitors, three to five leads. Like people opting in and asking me, hey, can you buy my land a day? That's how strong I've gotten at SEO and and and, and that type of thing. So Start writing, start writing longer content, post at least an article a week, if not a week and a half, uh, get some media on there, get some, some, um, videos, uh, some pictures, maybe an infographic or two, get some backlinks going and niche it down. Focus on a specific. If it's probates, then focus on probates. Write about probates on your site. Trust me, you will begin to get the calls on just foreclosures. You want that. Think about that. You know, what if you got a site? And then when you get, when you start getting those leads, if you get a property that's worth $100,000 and the owner um, is behind 10 grand and he owes 90 on the mortgage. Don't throw that lead away. That actually, if structured correctly, can be extremely, extremely profitable. If you understand lease options. OK, get the right type of mentorship going as well, guys. Find somebody who knows what they're talking about and you'll win. Have a good one.